Hi, welcome to another episode of Castaway Fishing UK. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm fishing at Atwick. It is a spring tide, so the tides are actually 6.07 if I remember rightly. The wind are actually quite strong. They're like from 22. Well, when I checked, the forecast was anything between 22 miles per hour to 38 miles per hour. So as you can imagine, it is it is very strong. Uh, the wind. I did try to get my drone up but it was struggling it was beeping and giving me warnings and all sorts so unfortunately I can't get a really good footage today but I will try my best to get footage for you guys just to see what the beach is like and what our beautiful Yorkshire coast is like but I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my rods out there I've got the rods already set up you've seen it all before how I set up I don't want to bore you with the same things over and over again I'm gonna try and put a bit of variety in there just just for a bit more interest but yeah, I'm going to get cast out now. I've not baited up. I'm going to bait up and get cast out. The gullies out there, there were some lovely gullies out there. Absolutely gorgeous gullies, really deep. Only problem is there's a lot of, lot of rocks out there. I mean, big rocks. I mean, this is like a baby rock. But there's some big rocks and big stones and boulders out there. Uh, I really hope I don't get snagged. If I do, I'm going to struggle because I've only got three leads with me today. Uh, that's three spare leads. I do have some spare ones in the car, you never know, you might have one of those days where you end up losing one on every cast, so I do have some in my car as an emergency backup, that's something which I like doing because you know if you travel all the way here you don't want to be running out of leads last minute and then just ruining everything, but I'm here anyway, it's looking lovely out there, like I said it is a spring tide, the winds are anything between 22 and 38 miles per hour, uh, I did get the drone up earlier, the drone really really struggled, it was giving me warnings it was doing some weird things it was drifting so i'll try and get some footage for you guys see so you can see how beautiful our yorkshire coast is over here uh, especially the holderness coast uh, it is absolutely beautiful i'm gonna get set up now
Right, so bait wise, I'm just using a bit of squid. There's a bit of razor fish in there, and there's a bit of monkey uh, black worms over there. Proper, proper smelly from last session. Uh, frozen. Nice bubbles brewing up there. So let's get this out. Ratchet's off. Let's check this. I don't want this on full magnets, so I'll get a bird nest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Halfway. Casting. I feel a bit of resistance. What's going on with my tip? Right, it's going to be a gentle lob because the gully is literally, it's not that far, it's only about, um, I would say the gully is about 20 yards, maybe 30 yards. Not that far, like I said. Wind's gone quite strange. Let's get this out there. It's gonna be a gentle lob this. Okay. That's not bad. Just hope I don't lose. Just hope I don't lose the lead. Like I mentioned earlier. So fancy walking all the way to the car is bloody miles away. Actually that's quite a far cast that. Slither of squid. Rip it. Some nice innards there, uh, juicy innards. Come back for them. I should take them with me, they'll say we're coming back. Oops, my waterproofs, not good. That's just to keep it up. I'm not going to put that down. So if I usually put it down, I always lose it. But you know what? That stand, that stone, I remember. It's only going to be for a moment. The amount of times I put my needles down like that and I've forgotten where I put them and I've lost them. A couple of times, so that's it. Just gently tip off. I usually do this about three times, but I'm just going twice. That will do. Put that away. Don't lose it! So the first cast, I only went about 30 yards, I managed to get it about 70. Uh, that's probably because of the winds behind me. I'm not going to smash these out really far, but I like clipping them down. Just gives it. Just gives me confidence more than anything. It's a bit loose that. Do, 
Right, both of my rods are out. Just gonna have a have a hot beverage, some coffee. I am actually proper, proper hot, warm. It's uh this is like like sub minus temperatures this, but it's not sub minus at the moment. I think it's about nine degrees or something daft. Um but yeah, um there is something I want to mention. I think it's called Pocket Journal on, on YouTube. He sent me a kite out uh, from the States, uh, one of the subscribers. So Wade, thank you so much. I have received a kite. I will put a video up with Christmas and holidays and everything else. Things have been up in the air. And not only that, the conditions have not been right. Today would have been ideal to fly a kite because the wind's in the right direction. It's uh, west south, um, which is perfect for our coast. However, the winds are way too much. It's like 22, to 22 miles per hour minimum and maximum forecast is 38 miles per hour. So it's proper gusting. Every now and then you just feel this gust come through. So thank you, Wade. I've got the kite. I will order the spars. That is on my to-do list. Once I get the spars, for those people who don't know what I'm talking about, they're the sticks that go on the kite to hold the skeleton, it's like a skeleton for the kite, uh, in layman's term. So as soon as I get those ordered, as soon as they're delivered, I'll be putting them on, waiting for the conditions, and hopefully getting out there into the cod. That's my mission for 2022, to get loads of cod. Yeah, that'll be good. I better be walking out there. Not ring on like a buffoon. I must say, these rods are handling this wind really well. My previous rods that I had, they were the Pen Rampage. You know, I can't fault them, they're really good rods. They're Continental rods, 15 foot 9. However, when it's really windy, because of the length of the rods, they do flap around quite a bit. But if you use them rods with braid, oh my god, they're absolutely lethal rods. You know, if there's a whiting out there at 100 yards and it farts, those rods will register that. Ooh, that's a tiny little pull. Oh yeah, that's whiting. Oh, my towel's gone. Oh, I better get it. Come here, you. Let's put you down here instead. Oh, it's really windy. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy.
Okay, so there's a bit of weight on this. I've not seen any bites. To be fair, I wasn't really looking. So, probably weed, knowing my luck. Fly. No head shakes, can't feel out. I think this might be a ray. If it is, it's going to be my first ray. Oh, I don't want to drag it. I believe it's a double header. It's not a ray. It's whiting fest. Oh, I tell a lie. It's a whiting and a foul hooked flatty. You don't see that every day now, do you? So, as you can see, I've got a little whiting there. Greedy whiting. And I've got a, that looks like a dab which has been foul hooked. No wonder it felt, it felt quite heavy. I'm gonna get them, get them unhooked and released. Get them back out again. Get this baited back up and get back out. So it looks like the fish have actually come on now, which is good. sure if you guys can see this but we're on 6.07 tide so just over just over just tied over six meter tide and it's pushed me right up to the cliffs as you can see there are places where you can get up um, one thing I would say though is whatever you do do not do not try and step on this it will literally suck you in it's like quicksand but it's not it's mud I mean, look where I'm stood now. Look. It's just pure slush. Look. It's just pure slush, that. I'll give you an example. Look. Put my foot in there. Look. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Seriously. Oh, what a muppet. Horrible to take off as well. It doesn't come off very well. I didn't want to get these wet, but I have now. Yeah, I mean, if you're not suspecting it, and you put your foot down with full force, you know, as a not as you're normally walking, that stuff's lethal. It will, you know, at some places it could potentially pull you up to your waist. Uh, well, I had to experience one. It was up to my shins, but that was deep enough to actually uh, really scare me. Lesson learnt.
So the total for today is uh, two dabs, one whiting. I'll say the last about one and a half hours before high tide, uh, the bites have started to come in. Got about another 15 minutes left till high tide. And I mean, I'm on top of the cliffs at the moment. I can be on the beach as well. There's a couple of places, well, there's a few places where you can actually squeeze in and you can actually fish from there. And you will get washed off, but you'll be very close to the cliff. You'll be right up to the edge of the cliff. But most places you will get washed off. You just need to find a little cove. There's a few cove around. You know what will be really nice? Nice little campfire. Actually, you know what? I should do a catch and cook on the beach. Might do that one of these days. Yeah, that would be nice. I'd only do it with whiting though. Catch and cook with whiting. Not had any bites for about 10 minutes. At one point, they just started bite every cast. At one point. But now I don't know, they must have just switched off. Ah, these fish. I can't believe it. I've had some bright, depressing sessions recently. 2020 was a really good year. Caught loads of small downs. Pretty much every trip I would come in, I was banging uh, small downs out. I had a few cod then as well. A few bass. This year. Well, when I say this year, 2021. It's not been that good year for me, to be fair. Not caught much. I'll tell a lie, there was one session I had at Mappleton where I didn't take my camera gear with me. And... Yeah, I did really well that day. I caught all sorts. I caught a dab, I caught whiting. I mean, big fat dog whiting, like, bloody that big. Uh, caught bass, caught a cod that day. Uh, yeah, I caught all sorts. Ooh, that's a good pick. Missed that one. I'm going to start setting my rigs up with circle hooks. On the top panel. I'm going to start using circle hooks. Probably whiting. I'll give it five minutes, I'll take it back out, I'll rebait. Well, it's on the camera where I've got a light on, it's actually really annoying. Right in your eye. And you have to adjust your eyes back to the darkness again. Oopsie! blew up yeah snatched at that that's why amateur amateur I knew it got a bit of a bird's nest going on here fix that soon Try to slow it down with my thumb, but the damage had already been done. I don't know how far that is, but I'm going to leave it. I guess it's not that far. Well, well, well. Another white in. Circle hook again. The circle hooks are the ones that are catching them all. I think the high tide is just passed now. I think they're just coming back on now because I'm getting bites on the other rod as well. But yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, unhooked, released, and uh, cast back out again. I'm gonna fish about an hour into the tide. So it's about an hour after high tide. The final tally is two whiting and two dabs. Those will be balanced here. 
It's been really difficult. Uh, the last few sessions I've had, I've been quite frustrated, I'm not going to lie. They've been quite difficult. I mean, even now, I've had quite a few, you know, good, decent bites, uh, you know, into darkness. But unfortunately, I've not been able to, not been able to connect. So I don't know what it is. But yeah, but yeah, so it's been frustrating. And I'm going to call it a day now. Sky's all cleared up. Seen a few satellites moving around in the sky. There's one there now I can see. Seen a couple of shooting, well, three shooting stars. It's amazing what you can see on the beach. There's no light pollution from cities, so you can see a lot. And the stars look absolutely amazing. Right guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching and I'd like to thank all my subscribers that are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I know my videos, um, there's not much fish, there's not many fish caught on it. That's how fishing goes, I'm afraid. I'm hoping to have a good session soon when the weather gets a bit cold and the cod start really coming on. But yeah, I'm going to pack up. i got to work tomorrow. So, tight lines everyone. Thanks for watching.